now. Uh, but next, let's talk about um, the classroom. Uh, when it comes to teachers, the number of, of teachers who are being recruited has dropped dramatically. Uh, recruitment in every age group of teacher fell in the past year, except one, and I'm going to be coming to that one in just a moment. The number of new teachers over the age of 55 rose. How do teachers become teachers after the age of 55? That's what we're going to be looking into. Uh, but um, everywhere else, there have been drops in other age groups. The numbers of new teachers under 30 fell from 28,709 in 21, uh, 21 to 22 to 23,000 in 22 to 23. And they're actually, if you just to give you a bit of a, a background on that, fewer than half the targeted number of trainee secondary teachers are due to start in September. What this means that teacher shortages are so acute that some schools are warning that they may have to stop teaching some subjects at A level things like design, technology, in the next academic year because they can't hire specialist teachers. Uh, ministers have already begun a scheme to lure foreign teachers to English schools. They're offering £10,000 as an international relocation payment to fill vacancies in physics and languages. So let me come back to that over 55 teachers. Joining me now is Deborah Mills, CEO of Now Teach who has been there, done it, got the T-shirt, sees the pluses in over 55 teachers, um, and, and is here to try and talk more of you sitting at home, maybe twiddling your thumbs, thinking, what do I do uh, You know, um, now at the uh, end of my career? She's uh, suggesting you start a new one. Deborah, thank you so much for joining me. You, you, as I said, you've been there, you've done it, and you've got the T-shirt. And Hang on, this says over 55 here. For those people watching Talk TV, we'd suggest to you that you're not anywhere near 55, let alone over 55. Oh, me? Oh, my goodness. I wish, Tricia. Goodness oh. me. I had one of those horrible birthdays where you think, I'm not near 60 anymore. I'm well over it. So, um, and in fact, me, O'Reilly. <laughs> Good so lighting. You Good lighting. Good, wow. Good genes <laughs> and good everything else. Good life. But let's talk about you. You did this. So it's not just some airy fairy -like notion of yours no. about how to, to make up teacher numbers. Tell me about what, what, what did you do? What were you doing before and what well, made you decide to become a teacher? Yeah. Well, most of my career was spent in, you know, what I suppose are generally called the creative industries. So mostly advertising, marketing, brand consultancy. So I worked for some of the big ad agencies running kind of big international accounts. And then I think I'd always had a bit of a, an inkling towards teaching mm. because like a lot of people, my life was changed by a really good teacher. Um, yes, I yes. came from a background where nobody went to university in my yeah. family uh, and a teacher spotted something in me. I adored her and she sort of changed my life, really. So I think and a lot of the now teachers that I work with have had that experience of a brilliant mm -hmm. teacher who has seen something in them that maybe no yeah. one else has really spotted. So I'd had that in my background. But all the time, I had a lovely job, really, in my advertising marketing world. But I got to the stage in my late 50s where I just felt I'd seen it all before. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to be one of those old types that you sometimes see around offices who are like Clean a cork off. in a bottle. You know, they you know, <laughs> just basically, you know, they've always seen it before. It always never worked. Um, so when the opportunity came, there was a bit of a restructure. I thought, well, goodness me, maybe I'll try teaching. But I would never have done it off my own bat. It was really because I heard Lucy Kellaway, who set up Now Teach with Katie Waldegrave, and she had been a Financial Times journalist. Yes. And yes. had given that up um, to become a maths teacher. And I thought, my goodness, if someone like her with a really, really cool job wants to give it up to teach, to go teaching, then maybe, you know, someone like me could do it too. And so I got in touch with Now Teach, who made it all very simple. It's quite, it seems like a complicated process um, getting into teaching. You've got to do things like, I mean, and Trisha, you'll probably understand my dilemma you've got to find things like your o-level certificates no one even oh, written in parchment 
parchment. <laughs> I know. I've got mine. They're in like... Get it out of a papyrus roll, you know. <laughs> Rosetta Stone. <laughs> I think mine was written but, on the Rosetta Stone indeed, yeah. But, so but have, seriously, so though... sort of thing is very complicated, but it, it isn't actually when you have someone who can guide you through the process. Hmm. But, but, but you know, from you've got to literally, have you got to go back to school in order to become a teacher? Do you have to be go through all the police checks and all that? I mean, yeah, you, I'm guessing yeah, you, you do, have to do that. Police checks. Yeah, 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 there's a DPS, DPS check. But if you've had, um, you know, even when my kids were little and I've got, you know, three adult children now, but even then, if you wanted to go on a school trip or something yeah, as an accompanying yeah. parent, you had to have a DBS check. So it's just the same as that. It's not that complicated. Um, and, you know, they often uh, would like you to do, a, they call it a subject knowledge enhancement test um, course where you right. learn a bit more about your subject and how it's taught in schools. And nearly all the, the older teachers that I know are a bit sort of funny about that. They think, well, I know my subject, you know, I'm very well read or whatever and don't like doing it. But whenever they do it, they really enjoy it because it shows yeah. you what kids at school are learning, not just what you know. But it's, yeah, yeah and it's, it's a very... It, it was honestly, I think, changed my life in the most uh, astonishing way. It really gave me a, a pep, I suppose. I was but, feeling. But how, do, how do the kids? How do the kids? Um, you know, deal with you. I, I'm sure. I mean, there's there's so many pluses. I would. I'm biased, but for an older teacher, because you've actually you know how the subject translates into actual work. You've worked mm. somewhere else other than in teachers training college and teaching in schools. You've got that real look, if you like, at the subject and how that what you're teaching fits into industry or, or work. What have you? But how do the kids? Do you think the kids think, oh, we can get one over on this older person or, you know, how do well, they see an older teacher? They just assume that you know what you're doing because you're older. They think ah. <laughs> they think you've been doing it for longer. They don't they don't realize that you've probably been doing it less time than the 25 year old down the corridor. So it's it's quite funny from that point of view. They don't understand. What's really funny is, you know, because they're teenagers, if they find out that you did something before, they're, they're like astonished. They go, well, did you earn more money? And you go, well, yeah, I did earn more money. And then they go, but why did you give it up to come and teach us? <laughs> they're really shocked that you would give up anything where you earn a bit more money to, do, to, do, to teach them. But the reason that you do it is them. They're such. Yes, they, I was going to say it's a it's a it's a valuable life lesson to those kids that you would give up something or or that you did have a life before and that you can talk about things in a, in a work setting and preparing children and explaining why they need a uniform, for instance, why there need to be rules. It's not just you reading from a book. You've been in a big company. You can say, I was successful because, you know, the very thing, the, the, here's why, you know, uh, uh, and what have you. So, so what, do you, what do you need in order for people listening who might be saying, oh, I'm pretty interested? Is there a cutoff point for age? I mean, what do they need to no. do? No, no I think our oldest, our oldest recruit, uh, we recruited them when they were 67, and I think they're now in their 70s. Oh. You know, it's, um, you know, that's unusual. Um, but most people have had about, you know, our average amount of experience that people have had in the workplace, et cetera, is probably about between 27, 30 years, something like that. So uh, most people are a bit older. You need to have, there are some statutory requirements that the government needs, which are you have to have a degree, an undergraduate degree, uh, or an A-level in the subject that you want to teach. But you do have to have the undergraduate degree. You don't have to teach your degree but you have to have an A-level in the subject you want to teach. And you have to have, you know, the right to live here and yeah. maths and English GCSE. Um, so it's, um, I think if you've ever had a yen to work with younger people, if you're feeling that feeling that, oh my goodness, you know, work yeah. is a bit dull, you know, I've just seen it, seen it all, done it all. I really would love a new challenge. Then I can tell you something, it is a challenge. And it's also really funny. You get it's so brilliant. many stories. 
It's brilliant. So now teach. If you Google or have a look at now teach, um, uh, Deborah Mills. Uh, Deborah, thank you so much for your time. And I'm still like not at all. She, it's lovely to be here. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to get involved, uh, look at now teach, and there you go could get a new career coming up we'll be looking at ufos we'll also be looking at uh the big cancer treat um conference going on in chicago hearing live from that what the new breakthroughs are so stay with us lots of that plus your calls and your messages here on talk tv uh, i'll be back with you right after this